So today we're going to prove the power rule for the derivative, and that just states that the derivative of x to the n is equal to nx to the n minus 1 power, where n is any constant like 5 or 10 or pi or whatever, um, but it's any number, okay? So we're differentiating with respect to x, and we are proving the power rule, so that means we can't use the power rule to find our answer. So we have to rewrite this in a different way. Well, the first thing that you may notice is that you can just rewrite x as e to the natural log of x, e to the ln x, um, because the e and the natural log will essentially cancel out and we're left with x. And since they're inverse functions, they cancel each other out. And so we can rewrite this as e to the ln x. And so let's take the derivative of uh, e to the ln x, and then we're going to put that in parentheses, and we're going to multiply it by n, the n power up here. And so we can just move this inside. So this is the derivative of e to the n ln x. And now, this is the same as that. Um, so we can just we don't even need to use the power rule here. Like we can't use the power rule. We have to use, um, so we can use the, uh, the derivative of e and the product rule in here. So the chain and the product rule is what we're gonna be using. Um, and so basically um, we're going to take, so now we're actually going to differentiate this. And so this is uh, e to the nl, n ln x, okay? That's that. Um, times the inside, which is going to use the power rule. So times n times the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, so n times 1 over x, plus ln x times the derivative of n. Well, n is a constant in this case, so the derivative of a constant is 0. So I'm going to multiply that by 0. That means this is 0. That doesn't matter anymore e to the n ln x, we can simplify as just x to the n. That's the same expression. So this is just x to the n times n over x, or this x we can rewrite as x to the negative 1. So I'm just going to write that here, x to the negative 1 times n. And so then we can move the n to the front here, just rearranging the terms. And then whenever you multiply 2 of uh, 2, uh, factors with the same exponent, you can just uh, add these. This is just n minus 1. And that is proven. So now we're going to prove that the integral power rule, which is x to the n dx, uh, the integral of that is x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus a uh, constant. Okay, we're going to prove that this is true. Now this requires a lot more steps, and it does take a lot more time, but it's not really that difficult. It's just lengthy. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing and set this equal to e to the ln x, and then we're going to move the n to the front. So we already did that, so we can just do a shortcut here. So this is, oops, this is simply just the integral of e to the n ln x dx, okay? Um, now there's no chain rule for integration, so we're going to have to just do some new substitution. So I'm going to use a purple marker for that. Uh, we have u. u is equal to n ln x. Okay. Um, and then du. So our derivatives, so and we're going to take the derivative of that. And we already took the derivative of this when we were trying to prove the differential power rule. And that ended up just being n over x. And of course, we have to put the dx at the end. Okay, and we can multiply this on the other side. That becomes x to the n du equal to dx. Okay, x in terms of u. So if u is equal to n ln x, then u over n is equal to ln x, and then e to the u over n is equal to x. So e to the u over n over n du is equal to dx. All right. It's a pretty interesting expression there, but let's just plug everything back in. So we have the integral of e to the u times 
uh, I'm going to factor this 1 over n out, out here. So 1 over n. Uh, and then we have this e to the u over n. So we can actually just, uh, I'm just going to write it here, e to the u over n du. Okay. So now we're completely in terms of u, which is good for us. Um, and so then 1 over n times the integral, we can just add these two together. e to the u plus u over n. So now let me, let me do this on the side here. Um, because let's let's try to simplify this. Actually, I forgot the forgot the du. That's the most important part of our integration here. Um, so uh, u plus u over n. Uh, we want to try to simplify that a little bit, just so we can um, do another substitution more easily. Because now we can just substitute it again, uh, and it'll become easier for us, as you can as you'll see. So u plus u over n. We can just write u over one. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to multiply uh, this by n over n to basically, it's, it's just multiplying it by 1, but it's going to get a common factor of n here in the bottom, a common denominator, I mean. So then we get n u plus u over n, okay? And then that, we can actually factor out a u from here. So I'm going to write the u at the end. So I'm just going to have here, we have the n plus 1 over n times u in the end. And you'll see why. Um, so now I'm going to rewrite this just so it's there. So 1 over n times the integral of e to the n plus 1 over n to times u power. So e to the n plus 1 over n, all in parentheses, times u du. Okay pretty large uh, exponent, but we can easily simplify this because we can do a second substitution. So let me just draw a line here. So our second substitution is going to be w, okay? w is going to be equal to that exponent. So we get n plus 1 over n times u. So now we're going to take the derivative of this, dw is equal to, well, this looks complicated, but it's really not because n is just a number in this case. n can be 5, it can be 10, it can be 17, but it, it doesn't matter because we're just going to end up with a number in here. And a number times u, the derivative of that is just going to be u. So this is just equal to, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just equal to the number. So we have n plus 1 over n du. That's it. That, that's, that's, that's all. And so we just end up with a number here. So that makes everything easier, as you'll be able to see in a second. So I'm just going to multiply this on the other side. n over n plus 1 dw is equal to du. Um, and we don't have to manipulate anything here because n is just a number, and we can't write that in terms of x or u or anything. Um, so I'm going to go on this side here. Uh, over here. I'm going to continue that. So we have our 1 over n, as we started with, and now um, we have this. So we have e to the w times n over n plus 1 dw. And so since, since this, all it is is just a number, we can actually factor it out. So this becomes, um, and so actually these two n's will cancel, all right? And so this becomes 1 over n plus 1 times the integral of e to the w dw. And the integral of e to the w is just e to the w. It's super simple. So this is just 1 over n plus 1 times e to the w, and of course, plus your c, a constant, okay? We're close. We're really close. You can see this n plus 1 here. That matches up. Um, but we are super close because now we just have to substitute our variables back in. So w is just n plus 1 over n times u. So I'm going to write this as a fraction here. So we have e to the n plus 1 over n times u over n plus 1 plus c. And u is just equal to n times ln x. So we have e to the n plus 1 over n 
times n ln x over n plus 1 plus c. This n and that n cancel, and we're left with n plus 1 times ln x. e to the ln x is x, so this is just x to the n plus 1 power still, all over n plus 1, plus our constant, a random number, because if you differentiate this, if this is a 6 or a 20 or a 1,500,000, differentiate that and you're going to get rid of it because the, the derivative of a constant is 0. So uh, you know, you, we just leave the plus c at the end. And this is it, x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. That is the power rule of, a, of an integral. And so, yes, it was a lot more work than it was for the derivative, but uh, it's still an interesting proof and it's good to know what you're doing whenever you're uh, integrating and deriving or differentiating. Um, but yeah, these are the two power rules that you should know and that's the proof for them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.